The Ideologies of Theory is a compilation of essays authored by Frederick Jameson, a versatile figure in the realm of literary criticism and cultural theory. Given the expansive scope of Jameson's work, it's challenging to fully capture the richness of the theoretical insights and arguments he presents within the confines of a brief review. The primary objective of this volume is to bring together an array of subjects from the human and social sciences. Although the text is well structured, the sheer depth and breadth of the topics he tackles make it intricate to pinpoint the evolution of the author's own perspective over his 40-year career. Nonetheless, it becomes evident through the essays featured in this collection that Jameson approaches each theoretical inquiry with clarity and originality. Two noteworthy aspects stand out. First, Jameson's engagement with an array of topics encompassing culture, modernism, literature, music, ideology, architecture, and their implications for theory or theorization, is interconnected and coherent. Second, Jameson employs various organizing concepts, notably history, narrative, and ideology to illuminate the complexities inherent in these inquiries in a distinctive manner. The book is divided into two sections. The first section, titled Situations of Theory delves deeply into subjects such as text and ideology, the nature of historical criticism, substantial debates regarding morality and ethics, and the historicization of theory. Jameson also raises pertinent questions concerning interpretation as a critical, political, and cultural intervention, emphasizing that every individual interpretation must include an interpretation of its own existence. The second section, Syntax of History, consists of around 15 essays. Among these, Jameson's discussions on architecture, ideology critique, the political dimensions of pleasure, the modernist ideology, the intersection of Marxism and historicism, and the discipline of cultural studies are profoundly insightful. These essays delve into the intricacies and complexities of these highly debated subjects, while simultaneously forging new directions and departing from traditional debates. This book will primarily benefit scholars in the fields of philosophy, literary theory and criticism, political and social theory, and cultural studies. It provides crucial insights for organizing and expanding their own intellectual framework, aiding in their understanding, and addressing some of the fundamental social and political questions of our contemporary era.